Hello guys, this is the Terra Queen Jamila and I'm here to do the May 2016 Love Mini Reading for the Leo. So I'm gonna, it's going to be a quick three card spread to start you off with for May before I do your full reading for this channel. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be looking at the, um, give me a second, I need to smudge my cards a little bit. So I am going to look at the past energies for love for the Leo. Um, what is in your past that could be holding you back? What you need to take from your past to use to your advantage today? Um, your present condition of love, what's going on for you right now? Any opportunities or challenges? And then the future, uh, which is the outcome of the situation and the direction that things seem to be moving in okay <clears throat> and also this is what you are wanting and what you are manifesting all right so i'm just i'm just gonna make three piles we're gonna go past present and future and in the past we got the devil so leos i'm seeing a lot of major stuff going on with this card this is um, energy <clears throat> that binds um, this is a really binding energy um, binded to a situation sorry looks like there's um, some you know mental slavery that went on in the past and it, I mean this is a major um, arcana card so there was definitely some things that went over in the past and so um, in the context of love what I want to say is that in the past Leo um, it looks like there's some sort, some sort of intense relationship or bondage um, <clears throat> maybe you were even dealing with someone that worked in the sex industry um, this is showing your desire for uh, domination or subjugation, something major happened that um, possibly, you know, um, brought on this desire for domination. Um, some of you may be in love with your boss right now. Some of you Leos <clears throat> got a thing for your boss or your superior. And so, I mean, you know, for this card to come up in the past is, you know, is pointing to some sort of Um, some sort of, I mean, it could be, you may have just, uh, you know, experienced maybe some jealousy in the past, maybe some self-delusion. This is a cool card because it shows that you made a choice in the past that was wrong for you. And because of that, these negative forces are slowing your development. And this did happen in the past. Leo. Okay, so presently in your love life. Um, and I also want to say this. I'm sorry about the devil card. Um, some of you may have been under dark influence. That's what I meant to tell you <laughs> about this card. Is it? It's a definite. I mean, I would say that some of you Leos may want to get a personal reading whenever this card shows up. Um, you know, in the context of love, this is about being trapped. So I can see in the past, you felt as though you were trapped. Some of you Leos felt trapped. So currently, here's the three of wands. You're expanding. You're searching. Some of you may be having some doubts about the person that you're involved with or some of you might be presently looking for someone online. Some of you may be dating someone at work or working on some sort of project that, that requires a great deal of creativity.
Some of you may be interested in someone that you just recently started working on a work project with. Okay? I do see maybe there's another person in the picture. Leo. There's a third party in the picture. And it looks like there's a lot of healthy energies, though. So the third party could be a family member. You know, a mother, a father. You know, maybe a sister. Okay? You, pro you guys probably work together. Um, now, in the future, Leo, you did get the Six of Chalices, which means that you are going to be reunited with someone from your past, okay? Or it could mean if you're currently in a relationship that you guys are going to really um, take your relationship to the next level. I see kids and, you know, picnics, maybe even doing some traveling somewhere for you in the future, Leo. Um, probably some camping, something involving nature, and exploring um, <clears throat> the six is really a good indicator because you started with the three and you ended with the six so that's balance the three is not balanced so you know I can see that whatever the relationship is it's 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 going to be refocused towards the future so whoever this person that you're involved with um, it's definitely a long-term thing, okay? Um, and then it's also, you know, you're going to be thinking about, you're going to go back to how things used to be um, in this card, being that it came up in the future is what I'm seeing. You're going to be thinking about the good old days, okay? So this is either, um, or maybe your partner, maybe both of you equally because it is the six, so you both are equally going to be thinking or feeling that um, you don't want to feel as though the best has already happened though because then you start doing self-fulfilling prophecies and you really want to be careful with doing that okay um, so this is about nostalgia and a lot of good feelings um, there is going to be a reappearance of an old lover in your life um, I don't see you as going for it. Some of you might restart. But you just want to think long and hard before restarting and just discuss all of the things as to why that person became an ex in the first place. Okay? Um, so I hope that you enjoy your little mini reading for May 2016. For love, um, stay tuned for your full reading as well as um, check me out on my website if you want a personalized reading. All right, thank you so much for watching and make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video. All right, bye.